The voting email feature allows you to send as well as reply and forward email messages about topics that allows others to vote on and get a tally of those votes. So for example, if I open up a new email message by double clicking in a blank area and I want to use the voting feature, come up here on the message tab, go to the tags group and click on its expandable dialog box button. And there it is, use the voting buttons. You can do it this way or you can do it from a message that you've already received, like the Haunted House Investigation, double click. You can forward or let's do a reply. And then up here on the message tab to the tags group, go ahead and click on its expandable dialog box button and check use voting buttons. And then see what options you get. Well, you only get three, but hey, I'll show you in just a minute how you can tweak this and get a ton more options than what you see here. But for right now, let's keep it simple and do yes, no and then close out, it saves it, and you can see up here in the information area, you added voting buttons to this message. Now to add a little context as to what they're doing or the purpose of this email message, let's go ahead and write in. Would this Saturday be a good day for everyone to do this investigation? Please vote on the ribbon above in the respond group, yes or no. Okay, first of all, everyone, I just have one. So let's go ahead and add Mr. Humphreys in the carbon copy field. There you go, that's everyone. And then second of all, please vote on the ribbon above. So what they're going to do in this message, here's a clue. When they get this message up above in the ribbon in the respond group, it'll say respond here, not basic text, that they can click on a button to vote. So we're kind of giving them a little heads up in case if they never voted before. And if they have or they've watched this training video, then they'll know what I'm talking about. And I'll show you that in just a minute. After we send this off, we'll have Carrie send us an option, topic to vote on. And then once they respond, they get the option, if they want, to send a note with their response. So let's go ahead and send this off and close out and wait for their responses here. And then let's go ahead and click on Send and Receive. Oh, we get a big fat no. What's the deal? Double click to see if she sent. Well, there we go. She included a note down below. I'm busy this weekend. Can we do it next weekend? You can see up here, the sender responded no, as well as in the subject, a big fat no. You can imagine if you've got like dozens or hundreds of these responses coming in, and you're trying to plan for how many are coming to bring enough donuts, instead of going through and counting up each sporadic yes here, if you do get a lot of yeses, instead go to the sent items folder, because remember, every message you send off, it keeps a copy of it here. And you can see it's right there. And you can see that little icon. Well, you got three dudes on one side that check the uh, X and then the question mark. So in this case, it's an indicator for voting. If you double click on it, up here in the show group, you can track. You can check on who's coming to your meeting and of the status delivery and any read receipts. Select it and, okay, it's kind of like duplicating here, the email addresses. I've been responding back and forth outside of the video here to the same email message and had her resent it. In any case, if it's going to be ghosting like that, where her email is listed twice and it may kind of be quirky for Mr. Humphreys, it'll respond correctly. It's not going to duplicate it, as you can see here. Just one response from, well, the same email address. In any case, this is the one that we're looking at. We got a no, the date and the time, and we have a total of one no. So we don't have to plan on bringing any donuts yet, unless, of course, Mr. Humphreys says yes, and it will automatically tally it for us. Isn't that awesome? So if you've got dozens or hundreds and you're like, ah, I can't keep track of all this, just come here and say, okay, we got 30 yeses. That's exactly how many donuts I have to bring. And then to go back to the message, up in the show group, go ahead and click on message to remind yourself what the question was about. Would this Saturday be a good day to do this investigation? So one no. Let's go ahead and close out. Go back to the inbox and see if we get any more responses. Okay, let's go ahead and come up here, click on send receive. And Mr. Humphreys is a no. And, oh, wait a second, what's this? Yes, from Carrie. Didn't she just say no? She can change her mind, and she can change her mind as many times as she'd like. And so we've got a yes, and then we have a no. Double click to find out. No go. I'm doing another investigation this Saturday with my family at the zoo. Oh, what a good dad. Let's go ahead and close out and see how it handles it. The tracking, go to the sent items folder, open up that message that we sent off, double click. In the show group, click on tracking. And yeah, duplicated Mr. Humphrey's email address. Well, that's my thing here that I got an issue going on. It's not the typical, and I doubt you'll see it when it comes to you sending out your votes. In any case, it's not going to duplicate them. And you can see that where Carrie used to be a no and Mr. Humphrey's is a no, 
you see we don't have two no's, so it updated and changed your vote to a yes. So we have one donut and well one for me, so that would be two, plus your family, so we gotta bring it for everybody. Now let's go ahead and close out of here and let's create a, another voting email, only this time let's customize the voting options. Double click in a blank area. How many ghosts do you think we'll capture on film in this upcoming investigation? Okay, let's go ahead and set the voting options up here to the tags group. Click its expandable dialog box button. Use the voting buttons and none of these are going to work for us. So we just need to select one. And then all we have to do is go ahead and click inside it and delete the text that's there and replace it with whatever we want and use the semicolons as the delimiters that will separate each choice. So we could say, do we think we'll capture one ghost or two comma three semicolon I mean, or an Ichabod, meaning that if we don't capture one, two or three, are we gonna be too scared that if we do see one, we won't capture them on film and we'll just run? That's an Ichabod. Well, let's go ahead and click close. You added the voting buttons to your message. Let's go ahead and click send, and that's how you customize it. Just type over whatever's there and make sure you got your semicolons, your delimiters separating those choices. And let's go ahead and click on send receive. Oh, there we go. Okay, first of all, Mr. Humphreys says we'll capture three, and then Carrie says Ichabod. Oh, I'm curious, double click. Are you kidding me? I hear this is one of the spookiest places that other investigators didn't even last 30 minutes. All right, good to know. She's not a team player. Let's go ahead and close out. And then we can, of course, go back to the sent items folder. How many ghosts right there above the previous one that we had voting on responding to the haunted house investigation? Double click, click on tracking, and there you go. We've got one Ichabod and one response that says three. And then up here, the tally. Oh, this gets a little bit confusing when you're using numbers. So we know it's one, three, and one Ichabod, and zero, one, and zero, two. Uh, maybe it's best not to use numbers at all, in any case. Let's go ahead and have Carrie send us a voting email message to see what it looks like when you get one. And let's go ahead and click send receive. Well, that thing's kind of like always off to the side. Okay, never mind. I'm focused. Investigation snacks, double click to open it up. What do you guys want me to bring for snacks in this ghost investigation? Please select above. Above what? Well, here in the information area, it says vote by clicking vote in the respond group above. So unless they're kind of looking around, they won't see this here if they're just reading down below and above, they could look up here. Well, in any case, it's in the respond group. As it says, there's the vote. Click on it. Donuts, cookies, or carrots. Aha. Well, if I go ahead and choose carrots, I can just send the response or edit that and click OK and say something like, Instead of making it an either or, how about if we make it an and? How about donuts and carrots? Go ahead and click send. And then of course, if you forgot what you responded, you've got the information here. Your response was carrots, but if you want to come up and change your mind and go, you know what, I want donuts. Send response now. No, you know, I changed my mind. How about if we go with cookies? Send the response now. I mean, you can just go nuts with this. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.